Okay, well, welcome to the VK6 CS Amateur Radio Channel. And uh, further to my previous video, which I think will be a previous video, I haven't looked at it yet, but it's where I use this meter here. I thought it might be useful to have an RF uh, current meter to be able to see what the um, relative antenna current is. So it doesn't give a precise measurement of antenna current, just more or less. Uh, just for doing experiments with earths and antenna configurations. So what's inside it? It's actually, what's the time? It's five to six, so the light's not great. But it didn't take very long to make. Uh, just a, what was it, a 50 microamp meter, a few bits and pieces, you know, a couple of banana sockets, ABS box and a pot. I'm gonna have to fiddle around with the value of the pot, I think. Um, or maybe stick another resistor in, or take a couple of turns off the coil to uh, give me a little less pickup because it was, uh, if you saw the previous video, it's pretty finicky to adjust and I want it to be a little easier to adjust. The, the trick is that I want it to work with low power as well as uh, full legal power. So I want it to work with one watt and I want it to work with 400 watts. So, okay, well there it is. Now, the eagle-eyed among you, and uh, Al, KIF, I'm sure you've noticed, the center line for the meter and the pot is slightly to the left of centre. Now, the reason for that, this is my excuse and I'm sticking to it, is that's where the printed circuit board with the components is. I hope you can see that. I hope the light's good enough to be able to see what's in there. So really it's just a... Zoom in on that. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see that to be honest. It's a... Uh, toroidal core with a few turns around it. There's a wire going through from one banana socket to the other. That then goes to a diode, a um, couple of a resistor, a couple of capacitors and a pot. Actually I'll I'll draw the circuit diagram for you so you can see what's in it. If you're interested. If not, press stop now. Okay, so as usual, I've got the tripod between me and the board. So let's see if I can oh, let's zoom out a bit. There we go. Okay, so we've got uh, got a few turns. That's around the ferrite core. A few turns around the ferrite core, and we've got a ferrite core, and the antenna wire goes through it, through the centre of it, like that. <clears throat> now this goes to a resistor. Uh, this is an 820 ohm. Uh, simple reason it was the only 820 ohm sort of one or two watt resistor I had. Um, if I change that to 100 ohm or something something lower, that will that will bring that voltage down as well. So that might be the easiest option. Then it goes through a little diode like that. There's a capacitor. 0.01, then there's a 10k, and there's another capacitor, 0.01, then that goes to a 50k pot. Uh, I've got a meter there, like that. The negative of the meter there, positive of the meter there, goes to the wiper of the pot. And that is all that's in it. So as you can see it's a nice simple thing to make but if you're mucking around with HF wire antennas something like this and earths of course you know trying to improve the uh, uh, the antenna current efficiency by mucking around with your earths, mucking around with the wire antenna configuration um, you'll be able to see if you get more or less antenna current with a simple device like this. Now, as I said uh, previously, you, you saw it was a bit finicky to adjust, uh, but I could take a couple of turns off, I could change this to from 820 ohm to 100 ohm, um, I could change this 10k pot to something else. Um, all these things can be done to sort of change the range, um, even change the pot. And make it easier to uh, easier to adjust but that's the basic circuit diagram of it and that's and that's what it looks like 
simple RF uh, current meter. Okay, well I hope you found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.